name is Corbin Hilty from the NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. I am here today to help you place an order for a new torsion spring for your garage door. As you can see, we are on our torsion spring homepage, which has several options to choose from. We will get into these options later, but first we need to get four pieces of information that are critical to the ordering process. Before we get started, we need to know the length of the spring, the wire size, the inside diameter, and the wind of the spring. These measurements are very important because each spring is made to order and cannot be returned. If you have the wrong measurements, then your door will not function properly and you can endanger those around you. Number one, length. Determining the length of the spring is done by measuring the spring in its broken or unwound state. When measuring, it is important to note that you are just measuring from wire end to wire end. The spring cones should not be included in this measurement. If you have a double spring setup, please be sure to measure both springs as the sizes could vary, which is more common than you would think. As you can see here, our spring measures 17 inches from wire end to wire end. Be sure to write down this number for the ordering process. 2. Wire Size Determining the wire size of your spring can be done by counting the coils. First, count 10 coils and measure the distance between those coils. Be sure to write down your findings. Then, measure the distance between 20 coils and write down your findings there. Once you have your measurements written down, use our wire size chart to determine which wire size matches up with your measurements. Our spring here is 1 and 15 sixteenths for the 10 coil measurement and 3 and 7 eighths of an inch for the 20 coil measurement. Now we find the line that matches our 10 coil measurement and make sure our 20 coil measurement reads the same. If both measurements match up, then that means our wire size is in the right hand column. In this case, our wire size is 0.192. Three. Inside diameter. Measuring the inside diameter of the spring can be done in multiple ways. You can measure the spring width from the break in the spring, bend the spring until you can slide a tape measure or ruler in between the coils, or look for the markings on the spring cones indicating the inside diameter. For example, this spring's cone said P175. 175 indicates that the inside diameter is 1.75 inches or 1 and 3 quarter inches. For the sake of demonstration, I have also measured across the break of the spring. The tape measure confirms that the inside diameter is 1.75 inches. 4. Wind of the spring. Figuring out the wind of your spring is simple. Look at the end of your spring. If the coil is going to the right or clockwise, it means the spring is a left wound spring. If the coils are heading to the left, that means it is a right wound spring. Please keep in mind, if you have a double spring setup, you will have one left and one right wound spring. As you can see here for demonstration, the coils on our spring are headed to the right or clockwise, which indicates that we have a left wound spring. Alright, so now that we have our measurements, it's time to get back to the website and place the order online. We're back at our torsion spring homepage, which shows you all the torsion spring listings we have on our website. For all intents and purposes, we're going to be looking at the first six. The first spring listing should always be your go-to listing when ordering residential torsion springs. The second and third listings are for commercial garage doors that have a larger inside diameter. The fourth listing is a kit that comes with the winding bars. The fifth listing is for Raynor garage door torsion springs which have a larger inside diameter of 2 and 1 fourth inches. And the last listing is another torsion spring kit. For the purpose of this video, we are going to be focusing on that first listing. So go ahead and click on that, and it'll bring up the page for you. After clicking the image, it'll take you to our actual ad listing for the torsion springs. Here you can see some images of the product. If you click on them, they'll enlarge, and you can scroll through them. And then to the right, you'll see our item number, which is torsion-spring, followed by the cost of the item, which will change as you add different uh, variables 
followed by some drop down boxes where you can input your information. These boxes are where the measurements we took earlier are going to come into play. So we're going to start inputting our information. The first measurement is for the wire size, uh, which we determined earlier to be 0.192. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Uh, next is the inside diameter, which if you remember will be 1.75 inches or 1 and 3 quarters inches. And now we put the length of our spring in. Remember that's from wire end to wire end, uh, which we determined for our spring was 17 inches. Then you determine the wind of your spring, which it, by default is set to left, which is uh, what happens to be our spring wind. If you have a double spring setup, you're going to want to select the left and right. But that's only if you have a double spring setup. Next is an option for the winding bars, which are a tool to help you wind up your spring. These are an additional $22. So if you don't have these, I would strongly suggest purchasing these. Uh, these help you wind up your spring safely. Next is the number of springs. So if you have a single spring setup, you'll leave it at one, which is the included price of $40.99. If you have two, you're going to need to add another spring, which is going to add $36 to the order. Uh, but we're going to leave it at one for now. The last piece of information is a long life cycle spring upgrade, which will extend the life of your spring by about 10,000 cycles. Uh, this upgrade only costs about $15, uh, and we strongly recommend that all of our customers purchase this, as it will save you hassle in the long run and extend the life of your spring by three or four years. Uh, now that we have all of our information input, I'm going to add the items to the cart. And here we see our shopping cart, and you can see the torsion spring is uh, the only item in the cart. And to the right of that, we have all the options available. So we have the wire size, the inside diameter, the length, the wind of the spring, uh, and then those last three options. The winding bars, which we added for $22 extra, the number of springs, one which was included in the price, and then the long life cycle uh, spring upgrade. Below, if you input your shipping information, it'll give you a accurate shipping cost for the item prior to checkout. From here on out, you just input your uh, billing and shipping information and your credit card number, and the spring will be on its way to you. Thank you for watching.